one of these clips, and, and I know you're saying it has to be remastered because it's like listening to LBJ tapes from the 60s. They're can loop, loop yeah, sound. Ex ex uh, ex yeah, exactly. And that's part of that's part of me coming on here today is to let people know about this tape uh, and that we're on a mission to get this thing restored. I consider it a miracle that it even came to us. See, the thing about the Middle Earth Network is we're a fan group. We're a collection of fans. We're a collection of people who love J.R.R. Tolkien. And I, I, I thank God that this tape came to us and not some big corporation or maybe even a private investor who would have just bought it and buried it from the world because this is a really important well, message. Listen, I know nothing about this compared to you, but, but what I've picked up trying to find out about Tolkien over the years is so much of his stuff has been held and sat on uh, is is that gut level analysis correct or is it wrong? A lot of it has been sat on. Who knows uh, how much is actually out there? I mean, this tape was virtually unknown until uh, my friend Rene discovered it in, in, in the early 90s. And he kept it uh, just because he's just such an avid collector and wasn't really even sure what to do with it. And, and really, it came to us through a, through a mutual friend, a beautiful uh, uh, Tolkien artist, Jay Johnstone, brought it to our attention and really... They were happy to re to release it through us, a fan group, because they knew we would really respect and be good stewards and wardens of the tape itself and not do it in an overly commercial way. We're going to play this clip. Now, how long is the total speech and when are we going to get to hear the whole thing? Total speech is approximately 20 minutes long. Uh, we're, right now, we are in the process of, uh, of restoring the tape. We have done one level of restoration. We got it as a WAV file originally. So we, uh, Rene still has the reel-to-reel, -reel, the physical reel-to-reel. -reel. Uh, but we, we actually do have uh, uh, a notification that the BBC is very interested in, in restoring the actual reel-to-reel. -reel. And that is kind of like a forensic process that they have to go through, baking the tape and all this stuff. So we Sure, because for those that don't know, I mean, if you don't, it literally has static uh, it, it has a looping sound, uh, right. and and we were able with a computer just today to take some of the background hiss out of this particular clip. And, and then when we come back from break, I want you to tell us some quotes, if you can, of some of the other stuff in context. But describe this uh, first virgin airing of a short clip of him talking about the wizards manipulating yep. society. Absolutely. Uh, he saw the wizards really as the uh, as the masters of the machine. And, and the machine to him was about uh, coercive power, right? Changing the natural world, changing natural abilities uh, and to coerce whole populations with power. And that's why he makes reference to the wizards the way he does in this quote. And I'm gonna actually going to set up the clip with a little bit uh, that uh, uh, precedes the actual clip we're going to play. So it makes a little bit more sense. He says towards the end of this 20 minute speech that he delivered to the Hobbit's dinner, he says, 20 years have flowed away down the long river, but never in my life will return for me for the sea, from the sea. Ah, years in which looking far away, I saw ages long past when still trees bloomed free in a wide country. Alas, for now all begins to wither in the breath of cold-hearted wizards. To know things, they break them. And their stern lordship, they establish through the fear of death. And that's, that's the preceding uh, quote right, right before the clip we're going to play. I mean, that is like poetry on the Illuminati, on the New World to me, Order. To me, it's prophetic, really. Uh, to, you know, Tolkien would probably laugh at my, at my summation of that. But uh, to me, it's just I mean, to, to be writing this stuff in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, uh, is, to me, is just amazing. We're just talking about this stuff now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, roll uh, the clip. Here it is. Well, I can't wait to hear the whole 20 minute speech and the parts that precede it uh, and the parts that come, uh, of course, in front of it. Uh, what did he say uh, after he finished the quote? 
Uh, right, that was it. That was the final toast uh, that oh. that he that he gives. And then the the uh, intro the introducer, the host of of the dinner, closes out. And we do have that recorded as well. The closing comments of of the host. Well, that so part really introing it's even more powerful. That's just amazing. I look east and west. I look north and south, and I do not see a Sauron, but I see very many descendants of Saruman. And I think we hobbits now have no magic weapons against him, and yet, dear General Hobbits, may I conclude by giving you a toast to the Hobbits, and may they outlast all the wizards. And the point is, the simple good people that are just as smart as the wizards, but don't want to dominate and control. Simply amazing. We're gonna exactly. come back. We're gonna come yeah. back with a final segment with you, and then get you back in the future when more clips come out for a full hour. Uh, but certainly, uh, in context with his other published stuff, and uh, the, the transcript of what you just read previously, it's clear uh, he was a visionary, J.R.R. Tolkien. All right, we'll be right back with our guest. I'm Alex Jones of InfoWars.com. You can check out uh, John's site, MiddleEarthNetwork.com. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners. Visit FreeCovertKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and to claim yours free. It's the same knife you've seen in airline magazines for $29.95. But today, it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. Go to FreeCovertKnife.com. Go now. To have a fighting chance against cold and flu bugs, get the world's best garlic extract, Allison Plus C. Fight viruses, bacteria, and fungi with Allison Plus C. Scientifically proven in double-blind studies using low doses to greatly reduce the number, severity, and duration of common colds. Allison Plus C contains 300 milligrams of stabilized Allison, the active ingredient in crushed garlic. Studies show Allison Plus C is effective against MRSA, bacterial, fungal, and viral infections. One tablet of Allison Plus C has the equivalent of 40 cloves of garlic. Allison Plus C supports your body's resistance to all types of conditions and can help lower high blood pressure and high cholesterol. So boost your body's resistance to infection with nature's best garlic extract. Allison Plus C. To order, call 855-ALLISON. That's 855-255-4246. Or go to allisonplus.com. Spelled A-L-L-I-C-I-N plus.com. Get Allison Plus C from Affinity Health Products. More and more people are discovering the incredible benefits of alkalizing the body. And there's no better product for it than AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds, just a few drops in water will rid your body of harmful waste and give you more vibrance and vigor than you've had in years. Now buy two bottles and get $10 off your order. Call 800-518-7615 or visit ALKAVision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com. Get the most important package of information you'll ever receive in your life for only $10. The package includes three books and seven DVD programs which cover biblical miracles and prophecy. The Shroud of Turin, The Third Secret of Fatima, What Really Happened to the Catholic Church, and more. Call 800-513-0029. That's 800-513-0029. Or go to VaticanCatholic.com. That's VaticanCatholic.com. 800-513-0029. VaticanCatholic.com. John D. Bartolo is our guest. He heads up the Middle Earth Network.com. I am Alex Jones, your host. And again, I always read a few quotes of Tolkien, read his books. Uh, I think I read The Cimmerillion. In fact, I know I did uh, back in college. And I'm like, man, this guy really knew about how the world worked. But he never stated it outright. He, you know, he did it kind of the oblique allegories. But now we've got somebody on who's really researched it and brought up amazing quotes I've never heard and played that clip. But I can't wait to get the remastered 
previous clip to his final toast. That was extremely powerful. Uh, John, uh, any other uh, little tidbits you'd like to throw out there to the audience? Yeah, I'd like to actually have a direct reply from Tolkien himself to, to, to your statement of allegory. I think this is really cool. Speaking about the ring, uh, it's, he, it's almost as if he was in the conversation with us. He says, you can make the ring an allegory of our own time if you like. An allegory of the inevitable fate that awaits all attempts to defeat evil power by power. But that is only because all magical power or mechanical does always so work. So, again, just absolutely brilliant summation of uh, the corrupting power yeah. uh, of, of the machine. Of if the, the Soviets are staging terror attacks to mobilize their people, you can't stage terror attacks on America to mobilize our people. It always turns to evil. You can't right. do evil things and have it turn into something good. It always comes back to bite you in the butt. And wisdom knows that. Cold-blooded exactly. wizard knowledge would tell right. them they can get away with it. Exactly. Uh, and if I can, I'd, I'd like to read another quote. The news today about atomic bombs, this is right after the Hiroshima thing or, or right before Hiroshima. The news today about atomic bombs is so horrifying, one is stunned. The utter folly of these lunatic physicists to do such work for war purposes, calmly, calmly plotting the destruction of the world. Such explosives in men's hands while their moral and their intellectual status is declining, is about as useful as giving out firearms to all inmates of a prison and then saying, hope this will ensure peace. But one good thing may arise out of it, I suppose, if the write-ups are not overheated. Japan might cave in. What We're all in God's hands now, but, it does not, but he does not look kindly on the Babel builders. Wow. Yeah, and, it's just, and that's why I, I try to motivate people to read Tolkien's letters, because literally almost every letter is chock full of quotes like this. Just an absolutely brilliant man. I personally, as a Tolkien fan, love his letters almost, almost as much as I do his fiction. Well, I was about to say, I'm a fan, but I'm really a fan now. I mean, I've read some of those letters online. Where do you find all the letters? I guess they sell books of them, or? Yeah, you could you could buy the published uh, letters of J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, there was a recently updated version a few years ago, and there's hundreds, hundreds of letters published, many that are still unpublished and, and show up once in a while through private collectors. But I would highly recommend it's, – it's called the letters of J.R.R. Tolkien. I would highly recommend any fans or non-fans, you want to get into Tolkien, start with the letters. It's a, just a wonderful way, as well as joining uh, groups like the Tolkien Society. You can go to TolkienSociety.org or the Middle Earth Network. Uh, we have a great group of people. We host a lot of artists. That's another thing I wanted to mention is independent culture. I, I remember you had an interview with Vigo Mortensen. One of my favorite interviews uh, that you did was Vigo Mortensen. And he talked a lot about what he called independent culture. And that's, that's, that's one of the ways. We have to make our own art outside of their paradigm like Tolkien did. We exa have to culture exactly. jam by not putting out what they give us, but by creating our own systems. That's the true peaceful revolution or the magic against the machines. Right, the revolution, it's not to, uh, some, someone else said on one of your shows once, it's, we don't, we don't want to die for the revolution. We want to live for the re revolution. It's, it's about living. It's about doing that's good right. things, creating a world that is beautiful. Uh, and that's the way it's going to be done. Amazing, sir. I'm impressed. Thank you so much. Look forward to having you back on soon. Nightly News Tonight 7. I'll be back tomorrow, Lord willing. Great job you to the crew, to Nico, and all the folks getting this together. Love the Visit sword, GCN brother. Live. That's a great interview. That guy's today. awesome. I want him back on. All right. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV, and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates. I get her flowers. You name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. Coast to coast.
direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network.